welcome to this video from Love and Every Stitch by Ruby Baby. <laughs> I'm Ruby Baby. In this video, we're going to crochet a no sew one piece mesh do rag or head wrap. <laughs> Sorry, I changed my head wrap again. But I just had one more thing I wanted to mention before we get started. If you're interested in the written pattern for this design, I do have that available. The information will be down in the description box, okay? So this is the head wrap that we'll be working on in this demonstration. I'm just displaying what it looks like from the front, back, and the side. And at the end of the video, I will demonstrate a few ways that you can tie it up and wear it and rock it your own way. For this demonstration, you'll need approximately 175 yards of four weight yarn. You'll need an L 8.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need two stitch markers, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. To get started, we're going to start with a slip knot and then we're going to chain up 70 chains. Okay, so after you've done your 70 chains, you're going to make a double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. So right here, double crochet, then you're going to chain one, you're going to skip one, and then you're going to double crochet in the next stitch. Skip one and double crochet in the next stitch. Just like this. And this is the pattern we're going to follow all the way across. We're going to chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next stitch all the way across until we get to the last stitch. Okay, so I'm approaching the, the last stitch. This is what it looks like so far. So I'm just gonna do this last double crochet here. Chain one, double crochet here. Chain one. And then at this last stitch we're going to do a V stitch two times so it's going to be a double crochet chain one double crochet then we're going to chain one and do another V stitch in the same space double crochet chain one and double crochet and then we're going to chain one we're gonna skip one and we're going to double crochet across the other edge to make it back down. And so you can see the double crochet stitch right there. We're gonna double crochet right over that double crochet right there. Just like that. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next double crochet all the way across to the end. going to follow that pattern all the way across and you can see how we just turn the corner there and that's the top of our head so this is what we're looking like so far we're heading to the bottom and we're just gonna chain one and do these last couple of double crochets so I'm gonna double crochet here chain one double crochet chain one and then we're going to double crochet in the third chain of that chain four so still skip one and double crochet in the next stitch just like that and then we're finished with this row or round I'll say row because 
we're not going in a circle still going back and forth so this is what we got so far okay so now we're on row two and we're gonna chain four and turn our work and that chain four acts as a double crochet in a chain one so we can skip one and double crochet in the next stitch and chain one skip one and then double crochet in the next stitch and what we're doing is we're double crocheting over each double crochet of the previous row so we're going to follow that pattern all the way across until we get to the top where the increases are and I'll meet you at those V stitches at the top okay so here we are approaching the top I have another double crochet here so I'm gonna chain one double crochet in my next to last stitch for the V stitches mm -hmm. fix that. so here we are at the V stitches and so the pattern for here is a V stitch here so double crochet chain one double crochet in the same stitch then we're going to chain one then we're going to do one double crochet here and then we're going to mirror that so we're going to chain one and do one double crochet at the start of this v so one double crochet here chain one and then we're going to do a v stitch in this last stitch here double crochet chain one and double crochet in the same stitch and this is what it looks like for this increase coming around the crown here just like that so then we're going to chain one skip one and carry on all the way across and double crochet in each stitch all the way across to the end Okay, so this is what we're looking like so far and we're coming to the end and we're going to do our double crochet and our last double crochet stitch here, chain one and then we're going to do our last double crochet in that third chain. All right, so this is what we're looking like so far. You see our crown come into play right here. And we can just start with row three. So we're gonna turn our work and then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then skip one and double crochet in our next double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet in our next double crochet, just like this. Okay, see, this is what we're looking like, and we're gonna do that all the way across until we get to our increase stitches, and I'll meet you back right there. Okay, so here we are. Coming up to our last stitch before the increases. So I'm gonna do my double crochet right here. And the pattern for this is going to be V stitch in the next stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one. Then we're going to do a v-stitch in the next stitch so double crochet chain one and double crochet in the same stitch 
and then we're going to do the mirror again so this is what we have for this side of the increase so then we're going to chain one and then we're going to do a v-stitch here v-stitch double crochet chain one double crochet in the same stitch chain one double crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to chain one and then we're going to do a v-stitch here in the last stitch of this increase double crochet in the same stitch just like that and that's our increase coming around the crown there so then we're going to just chain one and double crochet in the next stitch and carry on with the pattern by double crocheting chain one skip one double crochet all the way across to the end so here we are approaching the end and again we just chain one and double crochet in that third chain just like that and this is what we've gotten so far this is how it looks on the end and how our crown is turning out so far. And so now for round four, we're gonna chain four, skip one, double crochet over the next double crochet like we've been doing. And we are going to continue to do that all the way around. We are officially done with our increases. So we are just putting a stitch in each stitch all the way around. And we're gonna continue this pattern till we reach row 10. And after row 10, you can fasten off and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so here we are. This is after our 10 rows back and forth and you see our rounded edge right here that's the head and we're coming down to the bottom that's the bottom portion of it and yeah so here's how it looks this is where you know where the head goes just like that and we're gonna go on to the next step so this is where your stitch markers are gonna come into play. What I'm doing is I'm just lining up my stitches right here, just keeping it folded in half, and I'm matching stitch for stitch. And we're gonna count up 25 of those double crochets from the end. So I'm just matching them up real quick. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, hold on. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, and five. So Here's my 25th double crochet from the bottom, and I'm just gonna mark these double crochets right here because this is where we are going to join our strap. So we're just gonna put a double uh, stitch marker right there in those the 25th stitch on each side, just like this, and that's where the strap is going to reconnect to our unit as we crochet and so what we're going to do now is grab our yarn and we're going to chain 70 so make a slip knot and chain up 70 and then i'll show you what to do after that Okay, so after you chain up 70, you're gonna grab your unit from the right side. Um, the right meaning your left and your right, your right side. 
um, and we're gonna join at that first stitch marker on that 25th double crochet and so you have your chain and then we're gonna chain up four which is your double crochet in your chain one and then we're gonna go to that next double crochet and do a double crochet and we're gonna follow the same pattern we've been following by chaining one skipping one double crocheting into the next double crochet and we're gonna follow that pattern all the way around until we get to the stitch before the stitch marker so all the way around until we get there and I'll meet you back okay so we're coming close to our stitch marker so we're gonna do our double crochet right here I'm gonna chain one and then I'm gonna do this is the stitch right before our stitch marker so from here I'm going to chain four one two three four and that's our double crochet chain one and then we are going to slip stitch into that stitch that has the stitch marker so see that makes our double crochet and chain one and at this point we're going to chain 73 right here so we chain 73 okay so after you change your 73 we're gonna skip to the fifth chain and do a double crochet in our fifth chain then we're going to chain one skip one and double crochet in the next stitch just like that so we're starting our mesh pattern again chain one skip one double crochet in the next chain and you're going to follow that pattern all the way back up till we get to the stitch marker again all the way across to the top of the chain there okay so here's what the beginning of our strap is starting to look like and I have a few more double crochets to make right here so chain one skip one and double crochet in my next stitch if I can get it to do right there we go so you can see that then we're going to chain one and then we're going to double crochet into that last chain that's the last chain right before we get to the bonnet portion of the do-rag here so we're gonna double crochet right here. We're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna go to that chain and we're gonna double crochet in the third chain. One, two, three. And we're gonna connect right here and make a double crochet right here in that chain. Just like that. Chain one, skip one, and then double crochet into our next stitch just like that. Chain one, double crochet. And see how that connected there? Just like that. And we're going to continue around the bonnet portion until we get close to the next stitch marker. Okay, so. This is what we're looking like so far and we're getting close to our next stitch marker so i'm gonna do this last stitch right here double crochet chain one double crochet in this last double crochet right here chain one we're gonna skip one and then double crochet in the next stitch which is like the third chain so just like we did on the other side. We're just mirroring what we did on the other side. And that's what it's looking like right there. 
and then we're gonna chain one and we're gonna double crochet in the first chain right here. Just like that. And this is what it looks like right there. Chain one, we're gonna skip one and double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're gonna follow that mesh pattern all the way down. So chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch there. Just like that. Follow that all the way down to the end. Okay, so now I'm coming to my last double crochet of this row. So here we are. This is what it looks like. This is your first row of your straps. So now we're just gonna turn our work. We're gonna chain up four. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna follow the pattern again. Double crochet in our next double crochet. And this is what we're doing. So that's the second portion of the strap and we're gonna follow this all the way around just like row four. Just following it all the way even. Double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next until you get to the end of the strap on the other side. Okay, so here we are coming up on our last couple of stitches again. Chain one, double crochet in that next stitch. Chain one, and then double crochet in that third chain. So we're skipping one and double crocheting in that third chain. Just like that, and we can fasten off. So chain one and cut. Just like that, and we're pretty much done here, guys. So let me just show you, this is what I had left, and I just wanna show you real quick. Uh, the straps are longer than the actual bonnet portion of the do-rag. See that, and all you have to do is just weave in your ends right here. So what you think? Cute, right? I know. So here's a couple of ways that I've styled it. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, enjoy your do-rag. <laughs>